be free. Go to thefreegoldplan.com. That's thefreegoldplan.com now. Tap Out Studios of Hollywood is one of Atlanta's newest visual and performing art centers designed for you to perfect your creativity. Our 3,000 square foot event space includes a full bar, VIP section, movie screen, and two stages. Take advantage of our spring fling package deal for new and existing clients. Save over 40% when you rent our venue for $700 for events with more than 100 people. For booking information, contact Kendra at 404-578-1454. Located less than a half a mile off of I-20 off Fulton Industrial, we are Tap Out Studios of Hollywood, 620 Interchange Drive. Tap Out Studios of Hollywood, inspiring creativity, changing lives, and making dreams come true. Dryer Buzz Live. We're over here at Details Barber and Beauty Bar. And of course, we're in the West End. And if you're in the area, because you're hearing this and seeing this live, come on over. We got a chair for you. Roy said he's going to hook you up. And if you're a sister, you think about doing that summer chop, Miriam is the place to be. And let me just tell y'all, it just jumped. The conversation just jumped off up in here because somebody mentioned LeBron's and the whole deal. And it was a whole spiel that just took place off air. So I wanted to bring that conversation back. So I'm going to throw it to Tommy on this one because all I know is they were going for a three-peat. And, and, but you know what? To me, it looks like from the outside looking at it, it looks like LeBron is a sore loser and a sore winner. Um, I don't I, I don't know that he's a sore loser. You don't think he's a sore nah, loser? I think he's a competitor. I don't think he got the same competitive spirit as, as, a, as a Kobe, but I don't, I don't think he's a sore loser. Mm-mm. I think, you know, it hurts. I mean, mm-hmm. these guys do this. You know, when you're on LeBron, and I even says, or well, a lot of them say it in interviews, like, there's a lot of work that goes on that y'all don't see on the cameras. See okay. You know what I'm saying? And LeBron is a student of the game. He has a strong work, just like Kobe. Mm-hmm. So when these guys get in, it's, it's, it's less of, you know, they make, they make, they've made money, more money than probably right. most have ever spend. So they can, so they now, can sit back and say, okay, Now I'm I can. about winning. Now they're, they're playing for their legacy. Right. You know okay. what I'm saying? When you're a okay. LeBron. Now, if, you, if you're the 10th guy coming off the bench, you want to check. But when you're a LeBron, you make $60 million a year right. off, off, off the, the court. So you can play around with the 40 million. Well, well this is a, they, they, they're in that. When you're playing at that level, you're playing for championships and legacy and the Hall of Fame. Right. And you're chasing these type of things. The money's there. Right. Because people still throwing you out know. the Michael Jordan and the Kobe. He, he really trying to get. It get really in the game. Mm-hmm. Now the barber chair over there done got real quiet. He had a whole, 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 whole lot to say, whole lot to say about the heat. Step on over here. We got a microphone for you. We got it. Come on, I'm gonna slide out and let y'all have this sports segment. This how we can do no dead end. Hello, everybody. My name Ison, and I'm over here at B Tales at the West End. Also, I represent Ice and Pressure Washer in Atlanta. Represent, wait a minute, you just throw out a plug. Pressure Washer, as in, as in you can roll up on me and clean out that driveway and all that good stuff? We can roll up on you and detail your vehicle at the same time Pressure Washer to clean your driveway and your property. See, that's what I'm talking about, right? There. And the gutters and all that good stuff, too? Yes, we'll check on <laughs> to them. <laughs> you can tell I'm a home owner. Okay, but... <laughs> Okay, but a anyway, black American homeowner. Right, you were talking about black girls own. Okay, but anyway, you were talking. <laughs> look, we got to talk. We can talk about the black girl hashtag in a minute. Okay. But no, you were talking a lot about, and I love the beard. I love the beard. See, I'm sitting here with these two brothers with these beards. We're gonna talk about the beards too. But you're in Mary's chair. You you got yes. a little heated on the heat and LeBron. Tell us about it. My thing is, LeBron, he's a great athlete. 
But the thing is, the comma is that you need to be more wholesome in what you're doing and what you put putting out. So the thing is, you know, accept the good with the bad. Is that something that, and because I said I thought he was a soul loser and a soul winner, but what do you mean when you say accept the good and the bad? Sometimes the baby always can't get chocolate milk, so he had to settle Ooh, for. you got a lot of these he sayings. Had to, he had to settle for uh, sometimes <laughs> some silk milk. Silk milk, okay. <laughs> so LeBron, LeBron, what we what we trying to say? LeBron gonna have to come off that whole milk. Right. Say something this hey, two percent. Say something this two percent. But you don't think when you get to a certain level of of competition, when I say level, not just the men in the NBA, but m- players like a Jordan. Kobe, you know, uh, they 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 take he wants to be mentioned in that in that lineup. Yeah, you know. But he, but he's not in that lineup you yet. Why? So? Not yet. Ooh, oh no. Not I mean, two championships, almost a third. He wants to be. I mean, the man is risking forty million dollars in order for you to stop saying Kobe. You know, because the L- Lakers had their chance. Everyone just not on board with him. Not this year. They wasn't on board. The coach wasn't on board. The bench wasn't on board. And you can see it through the performance. So anytime you're getting 35, 40, 45 points. That's more coaching, though. That, that you know, and that's what you know. You look at a, a Phil Jackson. All these guys can ball. What you're trying to do is build a team, and when you build that team, is getting people. And what that's what you were talking about. The Bulls. Right. What made the Bulls so what uh, such a great team is Phil Jackson got all these people to play their role. Right. And right. and this is what you hear that you play. You know what I'm saying? Buy into this, and I guarantee you. W- you look at look at San Antonio. They buy into the system. You could put anybody. What 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 Popovich does, he doesn't have any superstars. You know, as far as like a LeBron. You know. All right, hold that thought. We're gonna take a quick break. When we back, drive us live at detail. So the salient features of, uh, once more, the GS4200 model. It's manufactured in its venerable predecessor and up to, sorry, 17% Naturally, it's available in both cars. We call it just a whole, uh, from top down, you know what I'm saying, for men. Yeah. I and we are back, Jolanda Lattimore, editor of DryerBuzz.com, sitting here with the the educated gangster Tommy Bottoms, and we just had a little segment. We were talking about LeBron's. We just had to reset because, like I said, we're live and interactive, and uh, get the audio. So I hope you guys got a chance to really catch that, because I mean, this thing with LeBron is the heat is heated right now, and so we were talking about what what needs to happen. You guys talked about coaching. Um, what kind of game are they playing? Right? I mean, the game. The, what kind of game are they playing right now with this money and making this decision? Well, I mean, it, it's all a, a, a what you call it, a three card money. You don't, I mean, nobody knows. Mm-hmm. I don't think he. I like like Roy said earlier when we was off. I don't think he's going nowhere. I think he's gonna restructure, or he might go chase the check because there's plenty of people who got a check. Well, I shouldn't say plenty. L.A. can write whatever he's looking for. New York can write that check. You know, Dallas might even be able to write that check. You know, 
But who wants him? Who? I'm gonna jump in. Everybody jump wanted. In. Everybody <laughs> wanted. <laughs> Everybody, Everybody wanted. Want and the team lead that don't want it. <laughs> Let's, I, I want to jump in because y'all know, you know, Tommy known this for a few years. I, I'm a Heat fan since day one. Right. You know, so like I've been seeing the thing on ESPN with Cherry Cherry Champion Champion showing all the people are old. I knew Ronnie Sackley. Yeah. I knew Glenn Long. I knew Harold Mata. I know the Heat players. Oh, okay. So I'm a Heat fan. You knew that that was going to have to happen in order for him to do that. Okay. Now, the reality is Miami is the team that can pay him the most regardless. So they would have to do a sign and trade with anybody for him to make the maximum amount of money regardless. Mm-hmm. If he just leaves and signs with another team, it's the same thing that Carmelo's running into. Mm-hmm. They Nobody can pay him within like $30 million yeah, yeah, yeah. of what he would get staying with Miami. Mm-hmm. So the money is to stay in Miami. Mm-hmm. So that's what he's doing. He's He has to restructure. Dwayne Wade has to restructure. And Chris Bosh has to restructure so that the team can bring in another high-end high end player. player. Mm-hmm. We need one of two things. We either need... Somebody who's a legitimate post player, i.e. Kevin Love, or you need somebody who is going to be one of these new young guards. And I'm not talking about a point guard. I'm talking about a two guard to step in from Dwayne Wade. Mm -hmm. Because, well, see, people about to say, and I know a brother going to say, dude, you run LeBron at the point. And it's over. I don't know why they didn't do that this year. You don't think think what's his name would be a good fit there, Rondo? You know what? I do, but I don't like Boston. And Rondo is one of them Boston people that could have stayed. I didn't associate Ray Allen with Boston. <laughs> so, yeah, dog, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm a Boston hate. I hate all sports, New York and Boston. Okay. I don't like the Patriots. I don't like the Jets. I I'm got none you. of them. I got you. So, yeah, I don't know if I could, I don't know if I could stomach seeing Rondo in a Heat jersey. Uh, I'm like, go after Kyrie That's the new, that's the new NBA, though. Like we, if, if, I know you old school like me. But oh, that's no, no, the new I NBA. Because there was a time yeah. where you, you know, you know, you when you when you joined the team, that's the team you was at. You know what I'm saying? Now these guys, and that's why you like people like LeBron look like sore losers now. Because now everybody's buddy buddy. I'm glad I put. I'm glad I put Everybody's, you know, like you look at a Kobe. He's a competitor. Mm-hmm. He like f everybody else. I'm a Laker. And that was, you know, he the last one of that generation. And I think, you know I think what I'm that saying? Is, yeah. Now everybody yeah. else, they all friends. Right. Because now they just bounce from team to team. And they club together and all of that. But back, you know, in the Bird days, in the Magic days, in the in the, in the the Bad Boys in Detroit days, that they, they don't, I don't like this. I don't like the Cavaliers. I don't like the Celtics. I don't like the Sixers. Mm-hmm. Personally. I, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't like them. You know what I'm saying? Now, it's a different era. That's the with yeah. the free agency era of, 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 of it, pro it sports. Seems, it seems like it's different, too, because back then, it's like if you rep the, you rep the city, you rep the full city. Now, you got a guy, he might play for this team, but then he he lives here. You know, it's, it, like it's I, some love missing. I wasn't, mad at, I wasn't mad at Kevin Garnett. Remember when Kevin Garnett kind of snubbed Ray Allen mm. when they first met? I wasn't mad. That's old school, because Kevin Garnett, part of that, he caught that last little bit of old school yeah. hey you going yeah. you didn't just leave and go to another you went to our uh conference uh, rival <laughs> yeah you know yeah, just, yeah no i ain't got no doubt for you man you know and that was that you know they tried to call him the sore loser and yeah. the baby and yeah. all that and i'm like no nah, that's that old school competitiveness I you know so. i like it I like all right it. now football i mean basketball is done we in the heat of, heat of baseball and in it, it, why yeah. is baseball such a sport that African Americans kind of overlook? It's the new baseball in general. Is the, it's the new NASCAR. It's the new NASCAR because let me tell you, yeah. I, I I love riding in the car and listening to the game, and I'm listening to <laughs> the names. I'm like, why are we even still calling this America's sport, yeah, yeah. America's pastime? I mean, it, it's just hard. I, I know Atlanta Braves. You know, they they try to come out and show today they got some brothers on the team, but it's just something about. And I grew Which up why, loving know, baseball. Why you think nobody cared that they went out to Cobb County? Because. <laughs> <laughs> They said, let's just get closer to the fans. Exactly. You know, exactly. and they got tired of driving downtown on the train, right. going through five points and all exactly. that. Let's just go out here to cop where it's us, us is. Well, let's talk. Let's talk about soccer. I don't know a lot about it. But just the end of that end of that type of enterprise coming to this city is going to be major. You know what it's going to be found major. Funny though, what is uh, as far as soccer? Like, I actually do like watching. I don't know a lot about the sport, but I just kind of got. Hip to it, if you will, a few years ago, just watching the World Cup, like, mm-hmm. but just seeing people, like, you know, 
soccer is not nothing here. I mean, it's becoming popular, it's more becoming, popular. Yeah. But it's just funny, like, I kind of see more people. It's almost like this bandwagon thing now. It's like oh, yeah. soccer's almost becoming, you, you you know, like how football over the last few years, you've got all these people who never watched football. Right. Now you've got right. football it's, so it's, popular. It's a totally different vibe even in the sports bar. Yeah, yeah. And, and it's like, you know, you have people that have watched, that watch the football games. This soccer thing... I don't know the love they have, the love hate that they have for each other, and the way that they even sit and watch and enjoy it again. It is so intense. Mm. I, have, I haven't seen that kind of intensity over around any the world, kind of that's, American that's sport. That's what it is around the world. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, More, not a yeah, state. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah. There you go. And that's what it is. I that's mean, what it is. I'll, I mean, Soccer or football, as the rest of the world calls it, mm-hmm. is it's the most popular. It's the most popular, most popular enthusiastic. Sport. Is it? But does it speak? Now you just said it's about people represent not not their hood, mm-hmm. not their state, but their country. Mm-hmm. Is that why America? <laughs> is that why it's lost on Americans? Because we ain't all that. We ain't all well, that. Support. Well, yeah, I mean, we ain't all that patriotic. Is that what it means? Well, I just think it just never the sport just never for whatever reason just never took off here and and I think you you I mean I see that patriotism now and that's the kind of stuff I see the people packing in the bars right, now exactly. and rooting for the, and which is nothing wrong with that you mm-hmm. know what I mean. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Miriam yeah. Coleman. The master barber in Atlanta. She was talking about that. The fact that the reason why you see the patriotism is because there's a lot of transients here, and we were trying to figure out is like what is that vibe mm-hmm. in the sports bar, and the vibe is the fact that, like she said, people are supporting the country, which makes us question our, our patriotism because we're so divided. Mm-hmm. We're so divided in this country, and like, cause I, cause I, I rode by a spot the other night, and they had all they they had all the TVs outside. I mean, more. TV's mm. outside, and it was it was just, you could instantly see it was a different, mm-hmm. uh, absolute, absolute. And that's something new, vibe. you know what yeah. I mean? We haven't, we haven't, we'll, we'll we haven't really got it, into the World you. Cup like that in the but past. The, the soccer money, that there's an undercurrent now. Schools are making sure they're, they're upgrading their fields over the summer. Uh, more and more, it's, more and more people are going to get uh, involved in it. My thing is, we did have a soccer game here, and it started like 8 o'clock at night. Mm. So we had this horrendous traffic. At eight o'clock mm. at night. I mean, I think I probably sat downtown an hour. I think I probably it took me maybe two hours just to get through the downtown connector because mm. everybody yeah. was going yeah. to this soccer game. So hopefully the games won't be that late. But the new dome. I mean, you think about the new dome we got coming. The Falcons thing is all about them. But that new dome is really gonna be about soccer. soccer. It's gonna really be about soccer. Mm. It's gonna be about World Cup because the audience for that. Is way over mm. what a what a football game might draw. I mean, I mean uh, American football. I mean, soccer is, and it, it's it's the it's the people sport, literally. That it's the cheapest sport you can play. Right. You know, Americans kind of embrace sports that kind of cost a lot of money to, exactly. to participate All in. Of them. Golf, football, yeah. baseball. These money you gotta have. You gotta have money to be uh, yeah, to, to participate. Yeah. So if you go uh, football, excuse me, soccer or football, however you want to label it, one ball. Twelve people can play. Exactly. You know what I'm saying, or however many people they have on the field. Exactly. And but, the sponsorship on that is yeah. just insane. And, and the age range on soccer, on on soccer football. Also, is- don't forget that a, a corp- corporate America never really embraced soccer from an advertising point of view because exactly. you can't run commercials like every three minutes like right. you do with everything with else. Game, they run football, soccer runs continuously, and then they have a break. That's not very good if you're an advertiser. Exactly. You know, it's not exactly. TV it's friendly. It's not TV friendly. Know. But it was. But it, it, here's the thing, though. It was on TV, and it was on several channels. Mm-hmm. At once, everybody wanted to cover it. Just because, corp, I don't know. Well, the that, world is watching. What yeah. happens is advertisers have not figured out how to do in-show advertising. Mm-hmm. Oh, you know, yeah. you're, you're not going to get a commercial break. But that doesn't mean you can't still have all this stuff on the screen. As soon as they figure that out, because America's American mm. corporation not gonna get involved in well, it until they look, start seeing a billion dollars. They get all they get they they tie them in. If you look yeah. around the things, it's all kind exactly. of corporate logos stacked up around the stadium and exactly. everything. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So let's just talk about a little bit about what uh, what people can expect uh, when when the next time you see us, it's gonna be a nice look and feel. 
over here at details uh live you gonna you gonna come and hang out with yeah, us i will we come gonna, out how often y'all gonna be here we actually think about what we we had talked to roy the executive producer behind the scenes here uh as to what the frequency we want to do maybe we try it every two weeks and then and then uh and see where it goes oh Body snatch a picture. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna he's gonna throw a picture on the screen for remember remember when Erica Campbell uh of uh, Mary Mary when she did the the photo shoot in the white dress. I'm, I'm she not did a photo me. shoot. Now she's a gospel artist, mm -hmm. uh, um two sisters gospel artist. She's been trying to not necessarily go secular. She has a gospel album out, but she wanted this look and feel that was Don't most uh, gospel artists want to go secular? I think they do. <laughs> and they want the audience and the money. They I just think did, gospel is always. They just still want to say Jesus did it. But gospel is always with, a safety with this net. dress, you know, my grandmother would have told her to go on and change. Yeah, I'm see, just saying. See, I got to jump in because I took. I, I, people got mad at her in the. Instead dress. of jumping in, can we just well, have a Roy segment? No, we ain't gonna have a Roy segment. <laughs> but I mean, because this is the reality. She is the sister is fine. Right. I mean, people. They are the sisters of the curve. She mad because she saved and she fine. Right. And all she did, the dress is covering up everything. I'm everything. gonna let you see it, Tommy. It's up on the screen so everybody else can see it's it. It's coming. Mm -hmm. But you, the, the girl is fine. I mean, and the dress is fitted, but it's covering everything up. She ain't got nothing. So what's the okay, version? she was covered for head. She was, got curves. Was, right. She she's, she's, curvy. she's got curves. You know, Mary Mary got those hips. And they yeah. were, people were like some of us. Why are you hips. showing that? Like what? But I say people go somewhere. Yeah. yeah. Well, so that was the it, controversy. Yeah. 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 Right. But I here's the thing. I don't necessarily thing. disagree with that. You can't disagree with it because, I mean, beauty is beauty. When you see it, you'll understand. Let me see it. Let but what happened it. was Big, there's ahead. a club flyer that went out this weekend where somebody <laughs> took the body and put another put another head that's on the exact, it. That's the whole point. That's the whole point. Just what, what you said. What? what makes the difference? If right. if this music is so different and it represents something different, and all I could do is take your head off and just insert it into the secular That's world. That's what they did. If your music can be played Wait. in the club. Look at the picture. Look at the picture. Eh, eh, she looks like she be a loving hip hop. But that's you not that's I mean? not her though. That's the whole point. That's the body snatch. That's the whole that's point. The body snatch. That's we, the we whole talk, point. We're talking about photo. We're talking a little bit about photoshopping. If everybody gonna <laughs> Photoshop, then what? They said beauty is in the eye of the beholder, but that, now if everything can be Photoshop, then who who's beautiful? Why? <laughs> I mean, why do we even still have pageant trees and all of this kind of stuff? Who's natural these days? If you can take uh, take somebody else's body, put your head on it, then go sell the picture, and everybody put it on every club flyer, something wrong with that? Yeah, ain't nothing new with every. Club fire got some random anonymous <laughs> chick on there. That <laughs> right, but now we know, now we know it's not a, it's not that, it's not that body. It's like please, please don't, please don't, you know. So, but the thing about it is, she got a lot of slack for the picture. She should, but have. yeah, she should have. She should have because she can't walk. You saying she can't go to church like that? I'm just why? I mean, I'm just saying. If what happens, to, the, the, my whole argument has always been that church ain't nothing but Sunday night, Sunday morning club. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's the, it's the. The morning party from the club, <laughs> the club exactly. night before, and, 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 and if, if that's what worse. you're wearing to church, right. how can I be focused on this spiritual thing? Right. And you've got women coming in giving me hips. You can't concentrate. My mind's not focused on what I'm supposed to be focused on. <laughs> no, that's real talk. You you can't hear a good. You, you can't hear a good you Christian Muslim, without them curves. Brother? Okay, if you if you're a Muslim. How do women come? They don't come like that dressed to prayer, right? Can they? Can they rock? Because them? why? As a man, I get loose, man, and get caught up. What the nigga baby say in the raps? Okay, okay. So it's it's like it's an unfocused motion. Did you did you see the picture? Did you? The, can you show 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 in the picture? We're gonna we're gonna show you the picture, and we want your we want your good honest opinion. Uh, can she be a gospel artist with this with this dress on? No. <laughs> I mean, this, what, this is my this is my question. What does it mean to be a gospel artist or or singing Christian music, whatever? If you're if you're doing the exact same thing I'm gonna flip as the secular world, I'm how could, I can't if I can't tell the difference. Then what? It's no difference. Only because you, you don't mind okay. it. You don't mind it. No, I, because I don't see it. And as someone who's considered a Christian, and 
I didn't see anything wrong with that dress. Okay. It, 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 it was at, it was on an album cover. So if I'm at so, but you're doing what, what, gospel what, what music. What do you think about? What are you selling? Are you selling Jesus? Or are you selling your hips? What are you selling? What was she selling? What are you selling? <laughs> She can't. She just because she is built that way doesn't mean she's doing anything. She could do a but whole lot. Could, to cover hold on, hold on, because we got we got to listen to right she can do to cover that up. It's, it's a, a way to cover that up, right? And I think it's it's it's, it's called the role of. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, wait. I don't. Uh, I'm pretty sure yeah. I got a good idea. It's a different thing. I agree with you there. She's doing church music. But that's an album cover that they're gonna sell church. in church. Dude, they're gonna I sell that album in, she in church, right? I say I understand what if you're, you're gonna, gonna wear that title, which is my point. What is my point? Gospel just becomes like a gimmick. Well, you Most know, of the folks just really want to do secular music. They want to be in the secular world. She gospel be, becomes the fallback be thing the, to do. Because her first single was if, "I Need a Little More Jesus." Everybody that falls off at R and B, what's the first thing they do? Is, is it gospel she's selling? Is it the image? Well, that's what did she confuse the image? I think it's the image what she's selling. She was selling that image. Exactly. Because that CD, that CD ain't gonna sell but one place, and that's at the church. You gonna festival. have some sisters in that church saying, "I can rock that dress too." And mm -hmm. they was all rocking it that next Sunday, believe it or not. So, so what? Hold on, we got one more. You got. Yeah, same thing. Uh oh, uh oh. Same uh -oh. thing, same uh -oh. thing. We, we, I got the same shop, thing. The barbershop. No, she brought it up. You <laughs> <laughs> say that? You just throw it on me. I got the same criticism. I got the same criticism. Creflo, Eddie Long, what? all of them. The same thing. floor is that the men walk on. around looking same like same thing. I agree. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. Let Let's just reiterate what's on the floor. Yeah, okay. The, I agree. The, what are we gonna call that? The bullpen. I agree. I agree. It's a, it's it's because they want to be secular. She wants to be sick. They want to make money. They just of the world like the rest of us. But that, what, that sounds like some educated <laughs> gangster right there. What we is that? What is selling? The image What's or the word? <laughs> Correct. Do we have another microphone? <laughs> Wait, you you gonna have to you gonna have to come over. I'm trying. Okay, we're trying to we're trying to reiterate. Come in. Okay, mm -hmm. but is that a sanctified dress? No, America. Okay. American Christians are the only ones that believe you have to have some gimmick to get people to listen to what you say. Ooh. Nobody else in the world Ooh. believes that. And, and, and the thing, of, and I'm agree with you on that because the thing is, if you can get their attention, you you can sell that dollar. And that's, what, that's what she was trying to do: sell that music. Yeah. She was trying to sell. She that sell music. music. She wants to make a music, be, make money being a singer. It's hard to get in the secular world. Mm -hmm. Gospel has always been that fallback. What happens to every R&B singer? When they fall off and album sales go bad, they they go, they, they they go, go put out a gospel record. album because that's always the fallback. Exactly, and, you know the same, what I'm and the same thing with the gospel. When their album sales fall off, they go put off something. Oh, when they get no, when they off, when the gospel album when it does well, first thing they ready to do now is make a secular album, which is what they <laughs> right. really wanted to do in the first place. Exactly. When I hear people doing like that uh, crunk church music, where they that's right. crunk music, but it's gospel. That's a gimmick. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. It's a gimmick. Exactly. I shouldn't have. If my word, this the Bible's been around for a couple of thousand years. If I can't sell you, I gotta have some some modern gimmick to get right. you to read it. Right. Nobody else in the world does that. Oh, get and that, 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 was, that, get was, that was the gimmick. Unless ain't nothing there in the first place. Right. <laughs> if I got to get a gimmick, then what are you selling in there in the first place if I have right. to get a, use a gimmick we, to get you why there? Why we just can't go on the word? She didn't come with the word. <laughs> the word is powerful, right? Her her story was, I need a little more Jesus. Well, a little <laughs> more Jesus in the dress, right? <laughs> Because if the word, if what she was saying was that powerful and that relevant, mm. she wouldn't have to have be half naked or even try to show her, show her curves. Right. Said, now, Temps, feed me on your word. Be, now she got to be in a quiet room. She ain't got to do nothing. She ain't got to do, not? she ain't gotta do nothing but what she want to do. I mean, she has she, But you put yourself out there, expect some criticism. She can do whatever she want to do. Right. But the point is, 
she should, right. and all of them should, just like this lady said. Whether it's the whether it's the Creflo Dollar, whether it's Eddie Long walking around his muscle T-shirts, right. what are you selling? All, all of them have a gimmick. <laughs> it's all the same. All of them have no. A that's how he's in there every Sunday. There ain't no private picture. Exactly. Every Sunday he in there with the tight muscle shirt on. You know what I'm saying? Everywhere he, he was Come everywhere on. with the tight muscle shirt. What's a three hundred thousand dollar car to a Ooh. preacher? Come on. Right. Come on, it's the same thing. A $300,000 car with tight I mean, dress, I, I it's did, the same thing. I did think one time about stealing his rims. I did. He was parked next to me, and I had just left uh, a session with talking with this young lady who couldn't feed her family. And I went out to the parking lot, and he was parked next to me. And I was like, you know, I could take just one of those rims. No, you should have told him. You should have said, we should have went out there. Hey, brother, feed the whole brother feed the whole community. we need you to get rid of them rims because some people over here on old nap could right. use it. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Oh, that's not. Oh, that ain't. That's clear flow out old net. <laughs> my fault. My fault. I got them. It's just so many of them it's out so here. So many. I can't keep up with them. Well, you know they go to school for that. Exactly. Exactly. It's not a new, and, and it's nothing new. Been, there's been uh, spiritual uh, hustlers for a mm -hmm. long time. Mm -hmm. There's nothing new about that. Right. It's just you know. It's it, like we said. What the bleep. It's the new black. Yeah. It's it, it's like the bar is is so far. What about these shows? I mean, just look at these shows. You got these reality well, shows now. Show. Not the R&B. No, they got the preacher just, wives go, and the LA preacher exes. Right. The preacher exes yeah. are coming out too. The preacher, preacher wives and then I... the preacher exes. Come on, man. These are women that have been left. You talk about being left at the altar. <laughs> So we know what we know what the next move is gonna be now. Exactly. But look at what happened on their show, on their reality show. I mean, they their storyline this year was about the infidelity that is happening in that marriage. Now you put out a you put out a you asked what is she selling? That's what you put out this C D, the song says I need a little more Jesus. Then you do a reality show that talks about the infidelity in the marriages of the two sisters who over the who've, over the course of their course of their careers have taken you another route and then you find out that at the same time they've been going through all of this stuff and people were wondering well is that is that real or is that hype just to sell a reality show yes <laughs> both <laughs> It's, it's, it's both. Yeah. It's both. It's, they, they, it's both. But we at the point now is like that is the only way. Music ain't selling. So like you said, gimmick. You gotta have a gimmick. Their gimmick this Reed. year was infidelity in the Christian home. You gotta have some. It's, the, it, it's what's it's what's appearing to the eye and the gossip. What's gonna cut the check? So. Yeah, it's all about that check. It's about that check. Now, the reality so. shows are the new record deals. And then you got the uh, oh. <laughs> Then you Ooh. got the housewives mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and half of them not even married. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Exactly. And then when you said the reality show is a new record deal, clearly it wasn't enough because we had we talk about hashtag fail matriarch. I mean look at look at your girl Mimi Falls. The reality show wasn't Who's enough. That? Mimi Falls had to do the sex tape. The no, she didn't have to, and that's what no. was so sad. That she didn't have, that's what I was like. You could have been you could have been a pimp instead of being pimp. No, well the, the reality of it is is a level of it's a it's a lack of morality that's mm -hmm. coming over because this is a woman who probably I don't know her but she probably has a high school education. Mm -hmm. She's making about as much if you know about as much as a doctor. Right. She's probably not making show. millions on her. She's probably making two three hundred thousand right. dollars a year. She's Could making be. what some people have went and spent eight ten years in right. school training and learning. In and now here she comes. Well, they're not just her, but this reality show stars. They make two, three hundred thousand a year plus, you know, mm -hmm. or right, some right. making a lot more than that. Mm -hmm. But you didn't do a because there was a time when you did a, a if you were on mainstream TV and you right. did a, and you did a porno, it's because you've hit rock bottom. Right. Right. You right. hit rock bottom. She was on the top and did a porno. You you did a porno for that's Gucci. That's what we just said. For, that's for, what we just said. Mean? What the bleep is the new black? It's like uh, limbo. You can't get no lower. She was on the top. Yeah. What do you say to to young women? Here's a woman who was on the top and did a porno. For That's everybody what's else, what, what, what's the difference? These 14 year old girls now watching, now doing porno is seen as a legitimate way to earn a living. Every, there's not a chick doing porn right now that wouldn't that wouldn't give their left leg to, look, to be on a reality show. We on a reality they don't show. hustle. That's hustling backwards. Hustling backwards. And That's what about it. Vanessa Williams? When she on top? 
And she Which, went mm-hmm. and did the little part. But, but the thing about no, she did. She she did. Mm-hmm. Right, she did her she did early hers before on. she got she but being, right. But being Miss America's on top. But she was already but her, her she had done it already out there. They, they got they right. They came out when she did. That's when it became right. a popular. They came yeah, out. They came and out. see, that's that's the thing. That's why he said you doing it. You doing it back. There, there are other women who got caught up in that. Right. But yet here you are. Didn't have to get caught up. And you still trying to sell us a bad out. bill of goods like right, you had right, to. Right, right, you right. you first of all you got a baby daddy if he was ever paid child support could cut you a nice check, <laughs> right? Mm, but yet right. you still on this show because the show is just now. If you watch Love and Hip Hop, it's just getting to the point where they kind of explaining how the take came about and and trying to fi- figure out how the guy turned her out. It's like what the bleep is the new black where people say you can't turn a hoe into a housewife. Right. You turning housewives into hoes these days. Mm, okay. Because mm. you can convince them. You can't turn them out. She was already out there, is what you think. Well, the, the barbershop is saying she was already out there. Well, the, it's, it's like I said, it's the, the morality, our morality. We're embracing um, an immoral, and I'm not I'm not a judgment. We're person, embracing it all. But, we but talked we, about it yeah, earlier. Upside we, down is yeah, right. We're, we're, we're embracing. Um, like I was watching, like uh, there was I, I don't really watch a lot of these shows, but I catch the uh, little you know a little. They I want your there. life that you don't have to turn on television. But um, they uh, they um, uh, the the young jock, he's dating some some right. new, some, Carly on, okay. on the show. Okay, and he's having this discussion about I'm going to take this relationship to the next level. One, he's not talking about marriage. The next level is moving in together. That's, right. But that's okay. Let's leave it because I'm not acting like I ain't never shacked up. So I'm not making judgment. But then he said, I wanted to have this conversation with the person I'm ready to, 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 to share my life with. This, this, new, this discussion about our new lives right. at the strip club. After I just got done doing shots off a of stripper's butt or something, right, right. and this is what I'm taking my main lady to exactly. talk to her about, and right, that's right. what I'm talking about. We're, we're, we're going that's to the it. bottom, and we're that's making it, it that. That that's is the it. cool thing that's now. It. now yeah. the, 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 you've got all these. You've got what what has really happened. Is we we've taken adolescence. We, mm-hmm. we we black people and just American in general, but particularly black men or black people. Um, we're we're, we're uh, having this thing with it's extended adolescence. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So you have all these men. Look at all these people on these reality shows. The they act like they're, these, none of these people are children. These but, people are in their 30s and their 40s, but they still act like they're 19. Fighting they in the are. restaurants. They are. They are still Treating 19. They, One of the things that we did when we looked at all the shows and the most talked about characters what we did find is they don't have parents mm-hmm. so they don't have a hierarchy right, right. there is no i'm gonna get to a certain age and this is gonna stop because they have not seen no that. more generation none of them right. have mm-hmm. mothers not not only fathers they don't have mothers. mom in the cl- that's another they i'm looking at young mothers. what's the other boy scrappy scrappy he's got some chick fighting in the club for him the the, the shade chick yeah, but you say you don't watch these shows i know i know i no, no, I, 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 I media take out is my in okay my world, so in you the get pop caught culture. up okay, yeah, that's my ahead, pop culture, ahead, my mirror ahead. in the pop culture um but she didn't crack some chick over the head in the right, club right mm-hmm. right so i'm watching the whole little thing go down and then the next thing i see this dude scrappy talking to somebody it's his mama why is your mama in, in the, the same spot where in you the same at? club with you. No generation gap. No, what's the No level? more generation Because mommy's gap. still 19 M- as well. Mama's still 19 too. You know what I'm saying? And, that and is, nobody, people at, people at home right now going, I never thought about that. Yeah. yeah. Why is your mom? Why is your club? mama? Why is that okay? Why is it? Why are her peers saying, what are you doing? Her that, peers should be saying, what saying are you that. doing? Why are you dressed mm. like that? No one got on the bus and moved to the next stop. Nobody. 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 I don't even think the bus took off yet. Yeah, no. Nah, nah. And, and, and it, you, you're so right, Tommy. That is that is interesting because so I. They, they still said that the bus stops. Extended adolescence coming from the educated against We got that. <laughs> so we are caught up in a world, and, and that's exactly what we are. Extended I mean, look at all, all the shows. They all show like women them. acting like children. Mm-hmm. You know, they show them. F- I mean, come on. Who, how often do you really see grown women fighting at a restaurant? I was wondering you know what, what where saying? these spots at because I, <laughs> I haven't been to spots. Yeah. Huh? Mar- yeah. And, and that's the thing too, Married to the Medicine. You thought that no, was going to be a horrible. higher level show but, and but it's still a bottom rung the show. Bottom, bottom it's still show. a bottom rung show. The first thing they did was fight. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, yeah. fight at the million dollar mansion at yeah. that. Around the pool. Where they that's do the that? One they I make saw. you not want to be rich. In I want to be rich. 
the lady that's actual, the black lady that's one of them is this actual doctor. She pulled the chick to the side, right? Mm -hmm. And was like trying to explain to her, like, Dr. Jackie. She's like, yo, you, it's not how you're married to a doctor. Right. This is you not have how to you carry are. yourself a certain way. And her response was, I got to keep it one real and my blah scoop. And you, I'm just so hood. And the doctor chick looked at her like, what the hell are you talking about? Right. You're freaking 42. You know what I'm saying? What you you talking? think about it. I mean, they're, they're not, not even children. in their 20s. They're not 30s. They're in their 40s yeah. and still acting like that. Because yeah. this is that one shot. This is that one shot for them. And if I don't turn up, I might not get a spinoff. If a I don't spin turn off, I might not be next season. Oh. If I don't turn up, they might spin cut off. me out the storyline. They, 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 they uh, coach them to, uh, what they really. Oh yeah, they for, they do you know? they, they do. Oh, uh, because they all had they all had yeah. the same they all had the same storylines. And I and I uh, wonder and I told the friends I said we ought to get our own show. They just they just talk about what we see and what right. we go through, and it's not gonna be nothing turned up. <laughs> right. It's gonna be. Right. The base of life, mm -hmm. right? Life the way we grew, um, things we know, things we become to understand mm -hmm. as we were boys. Now we men. Yeah, because somebody, because believe it or not, I mean, I know, I know they have a large audience, but there is a generation sitting back going, "What the hell?" Mm -hmm. You know, there there are kids out there trying to. No, I'm talking about even beyond the younger kids trying to figure this out. I mean, look at the young guys. Uh, there was a story about the young guys this year. Uh, I know my son's class did it. My son graduated this year. Their thing was to dress up this year. Right. They wanted. They were rocking vests, ties, bow ties, and all that. But they felt like they were setting their own standard. They're not, they didn't even realize they was connected to another right. generation because you right. can't look to find that generation right now. Right. They thought they were setting a standard that hadn't been done mm -hmm. before. And I showed my son. I said, "Well, here's, let me show you these pictures." And because we don't connect them right. to right. other gen, we just don't right. connect them. Right. They, everybody thinks everything just started happening now. That's why I, I, I told him. I said, "Ain't nothing new, but you boo." And yeah. one other thing is when you start seeing um like the kids going to the prom with with the suit and exactly. tennis shoes on. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And when I came along, you know, we had the tux, the mm -hmm. come on, the tie, mm -hmm. the cane, mm -hmm. and some had the top hat. I right. know I had a top hat. Mm -hmm. Right. And um Limo. But if but if daddy limo, ain't at home, daddy limo drive. Right, yeah. but if daddy ain't at home, daddy prom pictures ain't at home either. And and you'll be so surprised did, how many. I, I'll tell you, my my daughter was helping my son last year get ready for the prom, and I walked in. I wish y'all could have seen what they were trying to do with these suspenders. <laughs> I had to take pictures. I was like, Lord, my poor baby, you know, let me let me go pull. Out. I had to go pull out the photo albums, you right, know, so right. he he would have something to connect to connect with, because right. they had done put the damn suspenders on like he was <laughs> wearing a damn parachute. <laughs> 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 but their thing is they go they know to go to YouTube for right. everything that mm -hmm. they need. Tying a tie. If you go to YouTube mm -hmm. and you look up tying a tie, everything. it's the number one video. That mm -hmm. that video uh, those tie videos alone get so many hits mm -hmm. because ain't nobody mm -hmm. stopping the young men showing them. And I'm gonna give you another example. That brother? I had my nephew mm -hmm. come down. I said, Well, this is gonna be your company, you know. I'm gonna step to the side. And, and what company was this again? This ice, was the ice and pressure wash. Ice and pressure wash. And, okay. Uh, I said this is gonna be your company. Mm hmm And um, you are gonna take over. So I'm gonna bring you to the top level, and let you see how things operate. Mm -hmm. Not from the bottom. Mm -hmm. Right. We're gonna start right. from the top. Because you're responsible for all this mm -hmm. livelihood up under exactly. us. Exactly. And um, he was doing so good starting off. Mm hmm. Until we got to the last customer, mm -hmm. and the customer, his unit was um twenty five dollars. Mm -hmm. So he gave him two twenties, and I looked at him. The customer looked at him, mm -hmm. and he pulled out an iPod to get his calculator, to calculate it out, cash. Right? And I looked at him. I said, "If you pull that out, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw it." Right. Mm -hmm. So you you right then and there showed them how to count change. Mm -hmm. I said, remember your five tables? Right. But they don't have that. They don't have that stuff in school no more. Five and he giving you two twenties mm -hmm. when you subtract five from the other twenty, mm -hmm. and it would be his change. Mm -hmm. So kids, the the, the went know. away from the chart. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The count yeah. chart. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that is the you know we used to count money so fast. Right. Sometimes we can 
whole money and tell you how much it what and the waiter and tell you how much it is. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It, it, yeah. it, but see, for them, everything is swipe. No, have you seen the new man? Yeah, the, I don't the, even want to see the new man. No, you, I said, How they teach? Show, yeah, that's a whole nother show. The new man. My son graduated this year. I'm done. <laughs> new, new, and that and that's crazy. But they they can't write, and they can't add, they can't add, and they don't have books in schools. And they and they and they cannot even get uh, they know their nouns. Right, right. None mm. of that. None of that. Pro none now. Of that. Cause I tell you, I I stopped at a place I wanted to buy something. Like, apparently, I got there a few minutes before the person with the iPad. Right. And and I'm standing there looking at the content that I want to buy. And I'm like, let let me have that. I'm gonna give you the money when they get here with the. Cause you know everybody uses the iPad now instead right, of a cash right, register. Right. When we waiting on the person to get here with the iPad, I'm like, give me the product. <laughs> you know, right, I'm gonna right. give you the money. You ain't gotta give me the check. I just need to get it and go. They would not sell. Who turns down money? Mm. Who turns mm. down money? Mm. Everybody is crippled to some degree today mm-hmm. because of tech. Because of tech, it was supposed to make us smarter. It's supposed to make us brighter. It's supposed to make us work but less. It made us handicapped. It has truly handicapped. We can't spell no more. And anything that's not specifically um, spelled out in the Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, instruction manual when they first right. start, they don't know nothing outside. Nothing about that. it. Right. Nothing right. Outside I go to a McDonald's, right, and they do the little two for three, whatever. Right. So I go in there, get like, can I get? It was like a uh, sausage, egg, and biscuit. So I said, can mm-hmm. I get cheese? I want that. She says, well, we're not allowed. You know, you can't add cheese to it. I said, no. I mean, I understand. I said, I'll pay for. I pay. I'm sure it's gonna be extra for the cheese. Right, right. Um. Oh, we're not still allowed to do that. We have to sell it just the way it is. I said, I I said I'll pay for the cheese. You can't do that. I said, you mean tell me in America I can't buy two slices of cheese and you sell it? And she's like, no, they told us we can't do it. I said, all right, that's fine. I, I'm not gonna fight this fight. No more. That's I said, let battle. me. Can I get change for a dollar? Oh. So I can go. I want to go get a newspaper. Outside in the little thing, you right, know what right, I mean? Right. right. She says we're not allowed to give quarters. I said I need to talk to a manager. I said okay. <laughs> so the that manager. Was the last drop. I said, okay, let me talk to a manager. Manager okay. comes out. I said, can I get four quarters so I can get um, a newspaper? Uh, <laughs> I gotta go talk to my supervisor. I said to get four quarters. I said I just order some food. I can see if I came out the street, maybe. But the fact, and this, and he, this guy's the, who, the the manager. He's got to go ask somebody else. So he's not the all shepherd. All, all of that. He's not the shepherd. He just a sheep. Is what he's just a bunch of sheep. Uh, well, this is what you do. And if it ain't on this, I don't want you. Th- I don't want you to strain your little your little right, brains. Right. <laughs> so they can't go out the box. They at, at all. all. At all. Right. At, at all. all. They, at all. They, at all. This is what they trained me to do. <laughs> that's it. Now, I'm if you good. ask me to use some common sense, that's going to be an extra $2 an hour. So. Right. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. all right, y'all, we're going to get, get out of here. We're going to get ready to get out of here. But before we go, we got to educate against gangster. I, I mean, when I tell y'all the best best show to hit the stage in Atlanta, tell me, you know we want you to give us a little something, something. Oh, boom. Something. Okay. I know you got. I know you got something up here. I guess you we, since we talking about McDonald's, I guess right, we do I, that. which is my favorite one. So <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, you go ahead. YouTube or yeah, you we go live. Do we, I do it real quick. I just he, do a little he, bit he of do, it. He can do it. He can do it. I do a little bit of it. All uh, right, but let's just tell everybody because one, one time he finishes, that's gonna be that's gonna be it. Uh, we just over here testing now. We had details. Barber and Beauty Bar. Yeah. It is a place where I rock my cut. You never see me with a bad hair day because I can come over here and jump in a chair with Miriam. Uh, Tommy's gonna give. I mean, Roy's gonna give you some information on the shop. We're gonna be over here on Wednesdays. Nice live stream. Drive us live. Tommy's gonna be stopping through, and as you can see, the best people in Atlanta come here to get <laughs> their hair done. Humble. Okay, and you can come and sit in the bullpen. Definitely <laughs> rock the beard. I mean everything. I will bring Mary back over, but her chair just got busy again, though. So on the way out, Tommy, take us out. Everybody go to drivebus.com. What's your what's your website? Uh, Tommy now? Bottoms, Educated Gangster One on One dot com. All the social media is Educated Gangster One on One. All right, and our new friend who's gonna be doing some pressure washing for us. Hey. We we need to we need to give away. I tell you what, tweet me. And uh, we're going to hook you up some pressure wash because I know y'all still got them leaves in their driveway from and, the fall. This is summertime and now. And do on the back of that home. And, that and we know, we know a number of subdivisions. So. 
Okay, so we're gonna hook y'all up. Roy still got the haircut for you, so you need to hook him up on Twitter. (laughs) 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 You gotta be in the building. In the building, you could be getting that makeover though. Thanks to y'all for supporting everything, drivers. Um, so Tommy, on that note, educated gangster, take us out. I am the Don Juan of Vagabonds. I'm a rock star with a martyr card. Blessed with the ability to hobnob the have. But see, I was raised on ham hocks. So I make sure I use my gift to gab to speak on behalf of the have-nots. Now, some choose to be confused whether or not they have not or have. So allow me to give you a clue. If you have ever complained about the price of a gallon of gas, trust me, you are not one of the halves. Because whether you want to acknowledge it or not, America's in the middle of its second civil war. The rich versus the poor, and I'm a have-not with a sword. Prepared to put my mind and my rhymes on the front line of this war against the poor. See, when you're a billionaire, they call it a bailout. But when you broke, it's a handout because you're on WIC EBT. But welfare by another name is still government cheese. Let me break it down if you please. Now, Uncle Sam got a program called Agricultural Subsidies. It's the fancy name for government cheese. A welfare for the wealthy. Now, I won't get along with it with a definition. We'll keep it simple. Color price fixing. Now, these agricultural subsidies is why Burger King and Mickey D's can sell you a 99 cent double cheese. Give you free refills on Pepsi when they know damn well it ain't healthy. And the FDA, they know the truth. That dollar man, you gonna kill you when they lying to you. They don't tell you that fast food is just slave food. Because ain't no difference between chicken and nuggets and chitlins. It's simply low quality food produced specifically for the poverty stricken, not to mention the middle class who just busting it, looking for something quick and affordable to feed their children. And if you take the time to look at the bigger picture, you will see why the rich are getting richer, the poor are getting sicker. That's why you got nine-year-olds who battle obesity, ADD, 30 years later, it's heart disease and diabetes. But what you gonna do when your family five? A two-parent home a nine to five, just trying to survive. And the wife check don't come to the end of the week. And the car need a new start and the kids still gotta eat. What well, that dollar man use looking good to you? Well, what if you a baby mama even divorced, a single mother out with no child support? With well, that dollar man you looking good to you? Because you can feed the whole crew with the two for two. No one claim to be the smartest guy in the room. But I can tell you this, the CEO of Mickey D's ain't feeding his family no Mickey D's. And yes, indeed, Big Max made them rich, but they ain't about to eat that. Thank you very much. Dry buzz. They got great shows. You want to give us a lineup, a rundown before we go of the show, other shows on the network? Thank you. Appreciate that, brother. Dr. Wednesdays at 1030. Our talk radio station tomorrow will have a Queen's Eye View, where the sisters come in and give their opinions on different topics of the day. Don't forget to check out a woman with an opinion? Yes. We also have Random Thoughts with DVP that comes on Fridays at 5 p.m. They can talk. And we will be getting Urban America Today Atlanta back. It will be coming soon. I've got to find me another co host. Okay. So as soon as we get another co host, we'll be getting ready to get that kicked off. And we got more stuff that's coming up. Getting ready to kick back into our sports broadcasting, the Black College Sports Network. And just our general sports programming as well. We'll be kicking off in the next couple of weeks. All right. And Sky City TV on Facebook, right? Sky City Media Group and the <laughs> Broadcast Network on Facebook. Uh, the website is skycitymg.com and then my. All right, y'all, and when we leave here, I'm headed to Punchline tonight. So I want everybody to shout out to Punchline Comedy. We're going over to see G. Ray Davis in town. Go to drivers.com, get the buzz behind the buzz. Spread the buzz.